as you are aware solutions having pH value less than 7 are acidic in nature while the solutions having pH value higher than 7 are basic in nature. Suppose we have an acid solution having pH value 4, what will happen to its pH value on dilution? Similarly, we have a basic solution having pH value greater than 7 may be 10, what will happen to its pH value on dilution? How much pH value of a solution can be changed through dilution? What is the need to prepare an acidic solution and a basic solution of different dilutions? To answer all these questions and many more, today's we will study the variation in pH value of an acidic solution and a basic solution with dilution. Before we start the experiment, let us see what does it mean by pH value of a solution. pH value of a solution is negative log of hydrogen ion concentration expressed in moles per liter. pH value is usually expressed at 25 degree Celsius. So, here we start our experiment. The operators and chemicals required for this experiment are as follows. These are four test tubes labeled as A, B, C and D. We need test tube stand, measuring cylinders, 100 ml beakers and 50 ml beakers. Besides this, we need glass rod, droppers, pH paper and a white tile. The chemicals required are 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid solution, 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution and universal indicator solution. In test tube A, we have 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid solution. Using this solution, we will prepare dilute solutions in test tube B, C and D. To prepare the solution B, we are taking 0.1 ml of solution A, diluting it 100 times and preparing solution B. From solution B, we take 0.1 ml, diluting it 100 times and prepared solution C. In the similar manner, solution D is prepared. Now, what do you think? Which solution is most diluted? Yes, you are right solution D is most diluted and solution A is least diluted. Now, we check the pH value of each solution. For this, we take solution A, put one drop of this on pH paper, Compare the color developed on pH paper with standard pH paper chart. It corresponds to pH value 1. We record this reading in our observation table. Now we find out the pH value of solution B. We are putting one drop of solution B on pH paper. The color developed on pH paper is compared with reference pH paper chart. It corresponds to pH value 3. This reading also we note down in the observation table. Now we are taking one drop of solution C on pH paper strip. When this color developed on pH paper is compared with reference pH paper chart, it comes out the pH value 5. 
we repeat the same procedure with solution D. One drop of solution D is poured on pH paper. The color comparison indicates that pH value of solution D is about 7. So learners, before proceeding further, let us have a look at our observation table. For boiling tube A, the color obtained is dark pink. It corresponds to pH value 1. For solution B, the color we get was pink corresponding to pH value 3. For solution C, we got orange color. It corresponds to the pH value 5. And when the same procedure was repeated with solution D, we got slightly green color that indicates the approximate pH value 7. Friends, let us start the second part of the experiment. Here we will find out the pH value of sodium hydroxide solutions of different dilutions. For this, we have four solutions, solution A, solution B, solution C and solution D. A is 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Solution B is 100 times dilute solution prepared from solution A. Similarly, C and D are diluted solutions of solution A. Now, one by one, we find out the pH value of all four solutions of sodium hydroxide. So, we start with solution A. We take a drop of sodium hydroxide solution on pH paper strip. When we compare the color developed on pH paper with the reference pH paper chart, we observe that it coming approximately somewhere between pH value 12 and 40. We can say the pH value of this solution may be 13. Now we repeat the same procedure with solution B. We compare the pH paper with the reference pH chart. The pH value is coming somewhere between 10 and 12. It may be taken as 11. We repeat the same procedure with solution C. pouring one drop of solution C on pH paper strip. So friends, what color developed on pH paper strip? Yes, you are right. This time, the color matches with pH value 9. Now we will see the pH value of last solution of sodium hydroxide that is D solution. With solution D, the pH value comes out close to 7.
we noted down all our readings in our observation table. The readings are as follows. Solution A, the color is dark green. It corresponds to pH value in between 14 and 12. We can say the pH value may be 13. pH paper gives us the approximate pH value of a given solution. With solution B, we got green color. The corresponding pH value is somewhere between 10 and 12, may be taken as 11. With solution C, the color was light green and pH value came out to be 10. Similarly, with solution D, the color developed on pH paper was light green and it matches very well with pH value 7. So, let us recall what we learnt from today's experiment. We learnt how to use pH paper to find out pH value of a given solution. Second point, we learnt that for a dilution of a acid, the pH value increases and it approaches towards 7. For sodium hydroxide solution, with different dilutions of sodium hydroxide, the pH value decreases and it approaches 7. Friends, here one more point I want to tell you. If pH paper is not available to us, we can use universal indicator solution. This is universal indicator solution. It has reference pH paper chart. So, in that case, the color developed in the test solution can be compared with the reference pH paper chart. While doing the experiment, we have to take care of a few points. These are pH paper should be kept away from chemicals fumes. The color developed on pH paper strip must be matched carefully with reference pH paper chart. And if we are using indicator solution, then equal drops of pH uh, indicator should be used for each test solution. Friends, after learning how the pH value varies with dilution of an acidic solution and a basic solution, to enhance our learning, to test our understanding, we take a few exercise questions. These questions are as follows. First question is, if two differently diluted acidic solutions are mixed, what would happen to the pH of the mixture? Second question is, will the pH of 0 0.1 molar acetic acid solution is the same as that of 0 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid solution. Why is pH of diluted solution moved towards 7 in case of an acidic solution as well as in case of a basic solution? So, friends, today we learnt the variation in pH value of an acidic solution and a basic solution with dilution. Thank you.